before discussing what are the methods to find out HCF, let us see what is HCF. HCF is known as highest common factor or greatest common divisor GCD or greatest common factor GCF. If you see the common word in all these is highest or greatest. So what is HCF? HCF of a set of whole numbers is the largest integer which divides them all. So whenever we take out the prime factorization or whenever any method we follow to find out HCF, we will get a largest integer. So that largest integer should be divisible with this whole numbers. So methods to find out HCF. There are two methods to find HCF. One is Euclid's division algorithm or it is also known as Euclid's division lemma or Euclid's algorithm. And the second method is prime factorization method. Now in case of Euclid's division algorithm, it says that dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So if you see this in terms of alphabets, A is equals to B into Q plus R. Where A and B here are positive integers, they should not be negative, they should be positive and the value of this remainder R should lie between 0 and B. So remainder should be equal to 0 or greater than 0 or it should be less than the divisor B. So if I see dividend, divisor, quotient, remainder, dividend is A, divisor is B, quotient is Q and remainder is R. Now let us see the problem based on Euclid's division algorithm. This problem is taken from exercise 1.1 of SERT textbook. And in this problem, it is asking you to find out the HCF of 900 and 270. So we will have two numbers. As we know, it is Euclid's division algorithm. We have to find out the HCF by dividing, right? So one will be dividend and another one will be divisor. So which is dividend and which is divisor? There is one trick. Between these two numbers, 900 and 270, we have to choose the smaller number as my divisor B and the larger number as dividend A. That is why I am choosing the larger number as dividend A is equal to 900 and the smaller number B as divisor that is 270. Now here I have to find HCF of 900 and 270. So here is my divisor and this is my dividend. If I multiply 273 is 810 and 274 is 1080 but 1080 is more than 900. So I will take 273 is 810, 273 is 810. Now, 0 minus 0 is 0, this will become 8, this will become 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. Now this is 90. Now I have to stake this dividend, this uh, divisor, sorry, this divisor will become now dividend. So uh, this 270 will become here 270, 90, what's our 270? We know 9 3 is our 27. So 90 3 is our 270. Now 270 minus 270 is 0. So whenever we are getting the remainder as 0, we should stop the division. And the last, last step which I get of the divisor will be my HCF. So here my HCF is 90. We can verify this answer of HCF is 90 by my Euclid division algorithm which is A is equals to B into Q plus R. So substitute here A is 900, B is 270, Q is 3 plus R is 90. Now in the second step is this, A is 270, B is 90, Q is 3 plus 0. So here also plus 0 is there and that is why I am getting HCF as 90. So our question is find the HCF of 96 and 38200. We know that the bigger number dividend A will be 38220 and smaller number B will be 196. Now divide 196 and 38220. 196 is divisor, 38220 is dividend. So we know 196 ones are 196. This will become 2. This will become uh, this will become 1, 12, sorry, this will become 7. Then this will become 17. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 17 minus 9 is 8, and 12 minus 6 is 6 only. And this 2 will take down. So 196, what's a, a number less than 1862? If you do 196, 9's will get 1764. Uh, See, 196, 9's are, we have to do right, 96 are 54, 99's are 81, 81 plus 5 is 86, 9 ones are 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. So we got 1764. Okay. So what do we have? This will become 5. This will become 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. This will become 7. This will become 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. And we have already we had this 196, 19. Here we should get 9. And we have uh, this is take 0 down. So this 7 minus 1 will be 0 only. 
but 96 6 za if you do you will get 980 okay do and see uh, sorry 96 5 za because 5 6 za 30 96 5 za 980 you will get okay once again I'll write it clearly for you. Yeah. 196 Pfizer. 196 Pfizer. 980. If you do, you'll get. So, answer is 0. So, you have to continue division until you get the remainder as 0. So, here we got the divisor as 1. Uh, sorry, here we got the divisor as 196. That is our B. So, the CF is 196. Okay, this is called as this particular thing which you see here. Uh, one second, yeah. This thing which you see here, this is called as quotient. Okay, this is nothing. This is called as remainder. So, until you get remainder 0, you have to continue division and the quotient will not be the HCF. The, uh, the HCF will be the divisor B. Okay, so now we have to do the verification. Okay, so how to do the verification? We have to do the verification by... Uh, this we have to do the verification by uh, the Euclid's algorithm a is equals to bq plus r what did we get a as over here we got a as 3a double two zero right what was the dividend 3a double two zero so in place of a substitute 3a double two zero is equals to b what was b we got divisor 196 and what was q we got 195 plus r we got is 0 so what will you write? They, this is your verification. So you will write therefore. The question is use division algorithm to show that any positive or integer is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. Now observe here uh, when compared to your previous questions which I have uploaded on the YouTube channel in that you were asked cube and square. But here the question is you have to show that any positive odd integer. So the keywords used here are positive odd integer and the form should be 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5. Observe the word odd and observe the numbers 1, 3 and 5. And you, you, here you don't have to uh, square and here you don't have to cube. And also if you observe these forms the b value is 6 here because if you compare with this bq plus r the b value is 6 in all the three. So First, according to Euclid's division algorithm, we'll assume let a be a positive integer and we have to show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5. Then as usual by Euclid's algorithm, a is equals to bq plus r. That is my first equation and I know the condition in my Euclid's division algorithm is the remainder r should lie between 0 and b. So 0 less than equal to r less than b. Now, I'll substitute the value of b is equals to 6 in my first equation. As my form is in 6q plus 1, 6u plus 3, 6u plus 5. That is in all the equations, 6 is there. So in place of b, I'm substituting 6. So a is equals to 6u plus r. This is my second equation. Now, since I have the condition 0 less than equal to r less than b, here b I have substituted as 6. So my condition is 0 less than equal to r less than 6. Now the remainders lie between 0 to 6 means possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now here remainders are nothing but here which is assumed in the uh, algorithm that is r. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But in the question it is asking only positive odd integer. So I will consider and uh, if you see in this cases also we have 1, 3, 5 which are odd positive integers. So these are compared to 6, uh, bq plus r. So r is 1, 3, 5. There is positive of odd only here. So I will consider only odd integers in this from these remainders. From, that is from 0 to 6. So I will just consider 1, 3, 5, 7 etc. And in this only uh, also I will just consider 1, 3, 5 my th for 3 cases. Because in the first case if I observe it is 1. Second case 3. Third case 5. So substitute r is equals to 1 in equation 2 in my first case. So a is equals to 6u plus 1. Got the answer compared to this. Now going to second case. a is equals to substitute r is equals to 3 in again second equation if i substitute r is equals to 3 it is becoming a is equals to 6q plus 3 i got the case when i compare to this now third case i have to prove a is equals to 6q plus 5 so how to prove substitute again r is equals to 5 in my second equation if i substitute r is equals to 5 in my second equation i'll get the equation a is equals to 6u plus 5 now compare with this third case here i have a is equals to 6u plus 5 
Now observe in or in my the previous videos, the letters were given in the question were M uh, or N or uh, P. So, but here directly it is given Q. So no need to assume any thing here. Directly it's given as Q. So we are just writing Q. That is why this question is shorter when compared to the previous questions, and also you don't have to square or cube anything because it's clearly given in the question that you have to just take positive odd integers. That is why I have assumed uh, odd remainders. And also, I have got this form. And I'm not squaring anything. I just need positive odd integer. That is why I assumed A as positive integer. So therefore, hence any positive integer is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, or 6q plus 5. Hope you have understood my video. If you have any doubts, please comment below. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and like the video and share with others. Thank you. Welcome. This is a four mark question. Uh, which is from real numbers. The question is use Euclid use division algorithm to show that the square of any positive integer is of the form 3p or 3p plus 1. So in such type of questions always underline the keywords. So what are the keywords in this question? We have to use division algorithm. So I'm underlining division algorithm. Then I have to show that the square of any positive integer. So I'm underlining the word square is of the form which form 3p or 3p plus 1. So I'm underlining this word also. That is we have to keep these three in mind when I solve my question so the statement what i have to show i'll write that first to show that the square of any positive integer is of the form 3p or 3p plus 1 now since i'm using division algorithm i will write by using euclid division algorithm a is equals to bq plus r that is my first equation where remainder lies between 0 and b that we know this is my euclid division algorithm that i will write and a and b are positive integers now what i do is i see these these are of the form 3p or 3p plus 1. So this can be compared to bq and bq plus r. So bq and bq plus r means if I compare this, what is my value of b? Value of b is 3. 3p, bq, 3p plus 1, bq plus r. So I substitute b is equals to 3 in my equation 1. So a is equals to 3q plus r. This is my second equation. Now whatever I am given that is 3p or 3p plus 1 will make two cases. I have to prove square of any positive integer is either of form of 3p so that is case 1 or square of any positive integer is of the form 3p plus 1 so that is my case 2 so substitute r is equals to 0 in second equation so a is equals to 3q plus 0 3q plus 0 is 3q now when i square this a square is equals to 3q whole square now why am i squaring this because in the question it is telling square that is why i had said you to underline the key word always here is square so i am squaring on both sides so a square is equal to 3q whole square. 3q whole square will give me 3 3 is a 9 and q square. So 9 q square. Now this is not what I want. What I want is 3p. So I have to take out 3 common. So if I take out 3 common from 9, 3 3 is a 9. So what is remaining? 3q square is remaining because q square is not taken common. q square is inside the bracket and here I am taking only 3 out. So 3 is inside. So a square is equal to 3 into 3q square. Now what is my form? My form is 3p. So 3 as it is, this will be assumed as p where p is equals to 3q squared. So a square is equals to 3p. Case 1 is solved. Now moving to case 2, that is I have to prove square of my positive integer is 3p. That is I have to prove a square is equals to 3p plus 1. So substitute r is equals to 1 in second equation. Why am I substituting r is equals to 1 here? Because if I compare this, this is the form bq plus r. So r is 1. So a is equals to 3q. Instead of r, I am substituting 1. 3q plus 1. Now here also I square on both sides. Because in my question, it is asking me to square. So a square is equals to 3q plus 1 whole square. Now if I compare this 3q plus 1 whole square, it is of the form a plus b whole square. So a can be written as 3q and b can be written as 1 when I compare. And now this is LHS, I have to write in the form of RHS. a square plus 2ab plus b square. So a square is 3q whole square plus 2 into 3q into 1 plus 1 square. So a square is equals to 3 3 is a 9, 9q square plus 2 3 is a 6, 6q into 1 is 6q plus 1 square is 1. Now if I write a square is equals to 3q, 3 into 3q square plus 2q plus 1. So here if I see it is of the form a plus b whole square. So I am writing RHS. RHS is a square. So a square is 3q square plus 2 into ab. a is 3q, b is 1. So 2 into 3q into 1 plus b is again 1 square. So 3q whole square is 9q square plus 2 3s are 6. 6q 6 into 1 is 6q only. So 6q plus 1 square is 1. Now, if I see my statement in my case 2, I am having 3p plus 1. So, plus 1 I will keep outside because here I have plus 1. Now, I need 3p. So, how to have 3p? I will take 3 common from 9q square and 6q. So, 
so when i take three common from nine i'm getting three threes and nine so uh, and q square will be inside only because i don't need q square here i need only three p so three outside i'll take now what is left inside three q square now from six q if i take three common i'm left with two q because three twos are six so three two q is left because already q is here so three q square plus two q plus one now this can be assumed as p so p is equal to 3q square plus 2q. Why am I assuming this as p? Because I need 3p plus 1 in my statement. So a square is equal to 3p plus 1. Now see the equation 3. Equation 3 is a square is equal to 3p. And equation 4 is a square is equal to 3p plus 1. So both are uh, square of the integer. a is the integer square of the integer. a square square of the integer a square. Now this is 3p case 1. This is 3p plus 1 case 2. So therefore square of any positive integer is of the form 3p or 3p plus 1. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, subscribe for more such videos. The question is, use division algorithm to show that the cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. This question is taken from chapter real numbers of exercise 1.1 from SCERT textbook and in the exams it is asked for 4 marks. Now, before proceeding uh, with the answer of this question, I would like to request you to watch the video till the end because at the end I am going to give you a tip for solving these type of questions. Not only cube, not only square but the tip for finding out these type of questions. So watch the video till end. Now in this type of question underline the keywords division algorithm, cube, 9m, 9m plus 1, 9m plus 8. Now whatever is being asked that you have to write a statement. So here it is asked that to show that the cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. Now since it is asking you to use division algorithm, by Euclid's division algorithm, you know a is equals to bq plus r and this Euclid's division algorithm, uh, the remainder lies between 0 and b and a and b here are positive integers. Now what do I do is, I will observe this form. This is 9m, this is 9m plus 1 and this is 9m plus 8. In all the three, 9 is common. That is, it can be compared to bq plus 0, bq plus 1, bq plus 8. Okay, we can compare the, uh, this to that form. So, uh, it is nothing but b is 9. So, substitute the value of b is equals to 9 in this equation 1. That is Euclid's division algorithm equation. So, a is equals to 9q plus r. Now, uh, one common doubt which arises in this, uh, uh, in your mind is that why are we not substituting the value of r? r is remaining r only because we have three cases in all the three cases the remainder is zero here you should get the remainder as zero here you should get the remainder as that is this as plus one and here you should get the remainder as plus eight that is why the remainders are different values that is why i am just substituting the divisor that is b which is same in all the three cases now here i know my condition is zero less than equal to r less than b so here b is nine that is why here also in this a is equals to nine q plus r 0 less than equal to r less than 9. Now what do I do? What is my first case? If I compare this 9m with bq plus 0, bq plus r. So here bq plus r is equals to 9m plus 0. So r is 0. 9m plus 0 can be written as 9m. So remainder here in the first case is 0. So a is equals to 9q plus 0. 9q plus 0 is 9. So a is equals to 9q. But in my question, I am asked to cube. So I will cube on LHS as well as RHS. So cubing on both sides, A cube is equals to 9 cube whole cube. Now I should know the cube of 9. That is 9 nines are 81, 81 nines are 729. So A cube is equals to 729 cube cube. Now this is not my question. My question is I have to prove A cube is equals to 9M. Now this is M and 9 should be taken common. So I will do prime factorization. 3 2s are 6, 1 2, 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9, 3 8s are 24, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 2 1, 3 7s are 21, 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3. Now I will multiply this 3 3s are 9 and whatever is remaining that I will multiply. Because I want to take 9 common, I am multiplying these both. So 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27, 27 3s are 81. So 81 nines are 729. So what I will do is I will take 9 common and in the bracket what is remaining? 81 q cube. Why is 81 q cube remaining in the bracket? Because I need to take 9 common and I know by prime factorization of 729 that 9 into 81 is 729. Now this first case is of the form 9 m that is before, uh, beside 9 I have m. So this 81 q cube I am assuming as m. 
So a cube is equals to 9m. This is my third equation. So first case is solved. Now moving to second case. Second case is I have to prove cube of positive integer is of the form 9m plus 1. Here the positive integer I am assuming as a. So cube of positive integer means a cube. So a cube is equals to 9m plus 1. I have to prove in the second equation. Now one more tip which I will give you here is that here why did I take 0? Because we had nothing and 0 cube is 0. That is why I took substitute r is equals to 0 in the first case. In the second case if I see 1 cube is 1. That is why I will write substitute r is equals to 1 in second equation, this equation. And 1 cube is 1 means if even if I do this a plus b whole cube, I should get 1 cube is 1 because in my final answer I should get 1. That is why I am substituting r is equals to 1 in my second equation. So a is equals to 9 cube instead of r what am I substituting? 1. Now this is not my statement. I need to cube. So I will cube on both sides. A cube is equals to 9 cube plus 1 whole cube. Now observe this 9 cube plus 1 cube. It is similar to my algebraic identity a plus b whole cube. What is a plus b whole cube? a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now if I compare this 9 cube plus 1 whole cube with a plus b whole cube, a is equals to 9 cube, b is equals to 1. So a is equals to 9 cube, b is equals to 1. Now write this, this is of the form LHS, write the RHS. So a cube is equals to, what is a? Here a is 9 cube. So 9 cube whole cube plus b cube. What is b? 1. So 1 cube plus 3a square b. So 3 into what is a? 9 cube. So 9 cube whole square into what is b? 1. Plus 3ab square is there. So 3 into what is a? 9 cube. And what is b? 1. b square is 1. So 1 square. a cube is equals to we know 9 cube is 729. So 729 q cube plus 1 cube is 1 plus 3 into here 9 square is there. So 9 nines are 81. 81 3 is a 243. 243 into q square is there. q square into 1 is q square. So 243 q square plus 3 nines are 27. 27 into 1 is 1. 1 into q is q. So 27 q. Now this is my statement. Don't get scared that there are 4 terms here. No problem. We'll uh, make it in this form. How to make it in this form? Here I, if I observe here I have plus 1. So from all these 4 terms I have plus 1. So I will keep it apart. I will keep it aside. So a cube is equals to plus 1 I am keeping aside. And all the remaining terms I am writing here. That is 729 q cube plus 243 q square plus 27 q. Now in all these, obviously 9 will be common. Because in my case, I have 9m plus 1. That is, I have to take 9 common. So 9 into, I know, 9 is 729. So 81q cube is inside. Now, again, do the prime factorization of 243. 3 8 is 24. 3 1 is 3. 3 2 is 6. 2 1. 3 7 is 21. 3 9 is 27. 3 3 is 9. 3 1 is 3. Now, here also, I have to take 9 common. So I multiply these both. 3 3 is 9. And whatever is left, that also I multiply. 3 3 is 9. 9 3 is 27. Now 27 nines are 243. So 9 words are 243. 9 27 are 243. So here I have taken 9 common. So 27 q square will be inside. Now again 9 words are 27. We know 9 threes are 27. And q is also there. So 3 q is inside. Okay, I close the bracket and then I have plus 1. Okay, since I took 9 common only from these 3 terms. Now this whole I will assume as m since my final case of second 2 is 9 m plus 1. So a cube is equals to 9m plus 1. This is my fourth equation. My case 2 is solved. Now moving on to case 3. What is my case 3? I have to prove cube of the positive integer is 9m plus 8. That is I have to prove a cube is equals to 9m plus 8. How can I prove that? Observe. This is very important. In this, if I observe this 8, 8 can be written as 2 cube. 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. 2 cube is 8. So I will substitute r is equals to 2 in my second equation. Because even if I cube, I will get 2 cube is 8. So I will be able to make it in this form. That is 9m plus 8. So I will substitute r is equals to 2 in my second equation. So what will the equation become? a is equals to 9 cube plus 2. So if I cube on both sides, I am getting a cube is equals to 9 cube plus 2 whole cube. Now again, this is being compared to algebraic identity a plus b whole cube. What is a plus b whole cube? a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now if I compare this with the a plus b whole cube, a is 9 cube and b is 2. So a cube is equals to this a cube plus b cube. This a cube is of LHS ma. Don't get confused between this a cube and this a cube. This is algebraic identity RHS and this a cube is of the LHS which we are solving of the cases. So a cube is 9 cube whole cube plus b cube is 2 since we have substituted the value of b here as 2. So 2 whole cube plus 3a square b. a is 9q so 9q whole square into b is 2. 
plus 3a b square. So 3 into 9 cube into 2 whole square. Now a cube is equals to we know 9 cube is 729 and q cube is 8. So 729 q cube plus we know 2 cube is 8 plus 3 into 9 and 81. 81 3 is a uh, 81 3 is a will uh, be some value. Then again that multiplied by 6 will give me 486. So 486 q square is there. So q square plus 3 9 is a 27. 27 2, uh, 27, 2 2 is a 4. So 27 4 is a 108. Okay, so 108 and Q is there, so I'll get Q. Now, this is my equation. Now, observe the third case. The third case is having plus 8. So, what I do is, this plus 8, I'll keep aside separately. And the remaining, I'll write together. That is, A cube is equals to 729Q cube plus 486Q square plus 108Q. Now, what do I do is, A cube is equals to, again, from these three, I need to take 9 common. Because here, I have 9M plus 8. And the rest, I should assume as M. So 9 what's the 729? I know 981 is a 729 q cube plus if I divide this 108 um, here in my next step that is 486 by 9. If I do 9 5 is a 45, 8 minus 5 will give me 3, 6. 9 4 is a 36. So 9 what's the 486? 9 54 is a 486. So here I took I took common. One second. So here I took 9 common. So 9 words are 486. 9 54 is a 486 q squared plus 9 words are 108. If I divide 108 by 9, 9 ones are 9. 9 ones are 9. 10 minus 1 is 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. And 8 will carry down. So 9 twos are 18. So 9 twelves are 108. So I'll get 12 inside. 9 twelves are 108. I took 9 common. Then I'll close the bracket. Now this I will assume as plus m. Why am I assuming this as m? Sorry, only m. Because my final case is of the form 9m plus 8. Therefore, I will write a cube is equals to 9m plus 8. Now, all the three cases are over if you observe. Right? So, from all the three equations, I can say that every positive integer is uh, of the cube is of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. Now, as promised, I will give you the tip. That is, in my previous question of the video, if you have watched, I said this was the question. That is, I have to prove square of any positive integer is of the form 3p or 3p plus 1. And that is by using division algorithm. Now here what was the statement in my, uh, this question? It was 7, uh, 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. m was there. So don't get confused with the alphabets. Alphabets can be anything given in the question. And here I have p. So whether I have p or whether I have m, the procedure will be same. You have to just keep an eye on the keywords and solve. Here I am keeping an eye on division algorithm, square and this form. There I had kept uh, in this sum, I had kept an eye on division algorithm, cube and 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. And one more thing I uh, needed to say you is that in square, I substituted here only r is equals to 0 and r is equals to 1. So why I have substituted r is equals to 0? Because 0 square is 0. And here, even if I whole square this, 3p plus 1 whole square, that is a plus b whole square. So b square, 1 square is 1 only. That is why here, since 0 square is 0, I am substituting r is equals to 0. And here, since 1 square is 1, I am substituting r is equals to 1. So my key point was that if square is there, so keep the mind uh, by how to, you have to decide what to take, which value of remainder r you should take. That is uh, substitute r is equals to 0, substitute r is equals to 1. How am I taking? Based on this square. Because 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1. Similarly, if you observe here, I have 9m. So 9m plus 0, 0 cube is 0, 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8. That is why I have substituted r is equals to 0 in first case, r is equals to 1 in second case, r is equals to 2 in third case. Hope you have understood the video. Thank you for watching. Sorry I took so much time but hope uh, my uh, effort is fruitful. Please uh, understand and if you have any doubts, please comment below, like and subscribe the video. Thank you. This question show that 1 and only 1 out of n, n plus 2 or n plus 4 is divisible by 3 where n is in any positive integer. Now, when we compare this question to the previous questions, if you observe, the previous question was 3p, 3p plus 1, and we had to prove square. Or the question was 9m, 9m plus 1, 9m plus 8, and we had to prove cube. Or the question was, we had to prove it is of the form of odd integer, so we took odd numbers, and we did. 6p, 6q or 6q plus 1. 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3, in case of odd. Okay, but here if you observe, it is divisible. So, the question is different. You have to prove, show that 1 and only 1 out of n, n plus 2 or n plus 4 is divisible by 3. That is, 
at a particular time, that is one at a time from n n plus 2 and n plus 4, any one should be divisible by 3. That is my question. And here I have to consider n is any positive integer. So, uh, you, introduction will be as we did for other questions also. That is, here in the question it is not giving that we have to use Euclid's division algorithm. But we can apply Euclid's division algorithm and show that only 1 out of 1 and n plus 2 and n plus 4 is divisible by 3. So, using Euclid's division algorithm, we know a is equals to bq plus r. That is my first equation. And here I know my remainder r lies between 0 and b. That is, r is less than or equal to 0 and it is less than b. Here we, I know in my Euclid's division algorithm, a and b are positive integers. And what I do is, if I observe this, it is n, n plus 2 or n plus 4 and it should be divisible by 3. And I know, I explained in my Euclid's division algorithm video, that b is nothing but divisor. So, obviously the divisor should be divisible by 3. So, since the number it is given in the equation that it should be divisible by 3, I am taking my divisor to be 3, not, uh, not, I am not taking the divisor as 1, okay. Don't think that it is 1 n, 1 n plus 2, 1 n plus 4 also, I will take the divisor as 1. If you take the divisor as 1, you will get wrong, because here it is, should be divisible by 3. This is a different type of question. So, since it is divisible by 3, the, it is, uh, it should be divisible by a divisor also. And that divisor here is b. So, here I am considering b as 3 and it is given in the question that I have to consider the positive integer as n here. So, instead of a, I will take n. In your previous questions, you were taking a is equals to 3p or a is equals to 3p plus 1 and then you were squaring a square, 3p plus 1 whole square. But here it is clearly telling me to take n as the positive integer. So, a is equals to n. Now, this a is equals to n and this b is equals to 3, I am substituting in my first equation. So, in place of a, I am substituting n is equals to, instead of b, I am substituting 3. So, n is equals to 3, q as it is plus r as it is. So, this is my second equation. And in my second equation, I have, uh, obviously this condition is same. But here, instead of b, I have to write 3. So, 0 is less than equal to r less than 3. So, my possible remainder is either equal to 0, but they are less than 3. So, the remainders are 0, 1 or 2. So, what I do here is, in the, my first case, I have to take the remainder as 0. In my second case, I have to take the remainder as 1. And in my third case, I have to take the remainder as 2. Now, in case 1, substitute r is equals to 0 in my second equation. So, if I substitute r is equals to 0 in my second equation, the equation becomes n is equals to 3q plus 0. Now, I know 3q plus 0 is 3q. Now, one condition I got n. Now, I will take n plus 2 and 2. So, what is the value of n I got? I got the value of n as 3q in the first case. So, in place of n, I am placing 3q and plus 2 is there, so I will write plus 2. So, n plus 2 is equals to 3q plus 2. So, I will put that also in a box and this n is equals to 3q also I am putting in a box. Now, what is the third case? n plus 4. So, again I know my n is 3q. So, in place of n, I am substituting 3q, 3q plus 4. Now, I need to see in all these three as in the question that from these three, any one should be divisible by 3. So, how to know whether any one is divisible by 3? It should be a factor of 3. That is, observe this 3q. If I divide this 3q with 3, 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3. That is, 3q is divisible by 3. Observe this n plus 2. I know it is plus 2 here. So, 2 does not go in 3 table. Also, here also I have plus 4. 4 does not go in 3 table. So, n plus 2 is not divisible by 3. n plus 4 is also not divisible by 3. Then what is divisible by 3? 3q is divisible by 3. Because 3q by 3 is q. 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3. So, here I have proved in my first case that only n is divisible by 3. Now, coming to second case, what did I say in the second case? You have to substitute r is equals to 1. So, substitute r is equals to 1 in my second equation. So, n is equals to 3q plus 1. So, now n I have written. Now, what is the value of n I got? 3q plus 1. Now, this n is equals to 3q was for first case only when r was 0. But now, n value is changing. When I substitute r is equals to 1 in my second equation, n value is changing to 3q plus 1. So, here n is 3q plus 1 and then according to that, I have to take n plus 2 and n plus 4 as n value I have to take as 3q plus 1 in the second case and n value again I have to take as 3q plus 1 in my third case. So, n plus 2 means in place of n, I am substituting 3q plus 1 because in my second case n is 3q plus 1. So, 3q plus 1 as it is, now I have plus 2 here, so plus 2. So, n plus 2 is equals to 3q as it is, 2 plus 1 is 3, so 3q plus 3. Now, in both I have 3, so I am taking 3 common out, if I take 3 common out, what is left here? Q is left plus if I already take this 3 common out, 3 ones are 3. So, 1 is left. So, I have n plus 2 is 3 into Q plus 1. Now, obviously, I know 3 into Q plus 1 as we have 3 here, 3 is divisible by 3. So, it is divisible by 3. See, 3 into Q plus 1 is divisible by 3 because 3 into Q plus 1 is 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3. Any one number should be divisible. 
okay so 3 is divisible so n plus 2 is divisible i got in this case but here n is not divisible because 3 q plus 1 i know this 3 belongs only to q this 3 does not belong to 1 in case of n that is why n is not divisible by 3 in order to be divisible by 3 3 should be common so here in n plus 2 i got 3 is common that is 3 belongs to both q as well as 1 that is why n plus 2 is divisible by 3 in case of now what do you have we have n plus 4 so again n plus 4 is equals to in place of n what am i taking 3q plus 1 so 3q plus 1 plus 4 so 3q as it is 4 plus 1 is 5 now 3q plus 5 again i know 3 does belongs only to q but it does not belong to 5 now 5 does not go in three table so 3q plus 5 is also not divisible by 3 so in this case what is the case which is divisible by 3 3 into q plus 1 is divisible by 3 that is n plus 2 is divisible by 3 here as you can see in this step which i explained just now That is three belongs to both, so it is divisible. Now coming to the third case. What is the third case? I told you have to substitute r is equals to two in my second equation. So substitute r is equals to in my second equation. That is n is equals to three q plus two. So n plus now n that is the value of n I got. Now it is not divisible as I have plus two. Two it does not go in three table. Now let us see what is n plus two. N plus two means now what is the value of n I got? I got the value of n as three q plus two because I have substituted in place of r two. So now the value of n is 3q plus 2. That is for n plus 2 as well as n plus 4 in my second, third case. I am taking the value of n as 3q plus 2. So for all the cases, n value is different. For case one, the n value is 3q. For case two, n value is 3q plus 1. And for case three, n value is 3q plus 2, which I will take for n plus 2 as well as n plus 4, 3q. Here also for n plus 2 and n plus 4, as n value is 3q plus 1, I took uh, n value is 3q plus 1 and n value is 3q plus 1. Now here also in case three. As n is equals to 3q plus 2, we got by substituting in the second equation. I am taking n plus 2, so n is 3q plus 2 plus 2. I have so plus 2. 3q as it is, 2 plus 2 is 4. So 3q plus 4 again, 4 is not divisible by 3. So n plus 2 is not divisible by 3. Now uh, uh, coming to n plus 4. n plus 4 means n here I got as 3q plus 2. So write down 3q plus 2 plus 4. I have so plus 4. So 3q plus 4 plus 2 is 6. Now 3 and 6 both. Uh, I know three is common in between them because three ones are three and three twos are six. So I will take three common. If I take three common from three q, I'm left with q. And if I take three common from six, I'm left with two because three twos are six. So this three is common to both q and two. So as I said, if three is common to both q and two, it will be divisible by three because three ones are three, three ones are three. If I take three common, so I'm left with q plus two. So what I did, observe that is from n n plus two and n plus four. In my third case, n plus four is divisible by three. So observe in all the three cases. Here n is equals to 3q is divisible in first case. In second case n is equals to 3q plus 1 is divisible, and in third case n plus 4 is divisible. So in all the three cases, only one is divisible. Therefore, I can say one and only one out of n n plus 2 or n plus 4 is divisible by 3. Okay, and here I took n as positive integer. So out of n n plus 2 or n plus 4, any one should be divisible. That is my condition. So in all the three cases, I have taken one one, and I have proved that any one is divisible at a particular time. that was my question and i am successful in proving that so divisible means it should be divisible by 3 that is it should be a factor of 3 hope you have understood the video if you have understood please like the video subscribe and please hit the bell icon and uh, please share the video with your friends if you have understood and also comment if you have doubt in this video and also if you have not watched the previous videos please go and watch it is similar to these type of questions uh, that is square cube or odd integer thank you